Alright, um, this is my first video uh, in the new year, 2009, and I actually had a couple of videos in mind to do prior to this one, um, you know, about my New Year's resolutions and all that good stuff, <clears throat> but aside from me not feeling like doing it, um, and now I feel like <laughs> waiting to uh, get it uploaded. Um, also been, I don't know, last few weeks have been super duper emotional. And I was trying to start this year off um, on a good note. Because um, in my family we've always kind of had like a tradition to, to be together. Um, enjoying one another's company as the new year rolls in. Um, because it's always been a belief of my mother. Is that whatever you're doing at midnight of the new year, you know, you're basically be doing uh, the remainder of that year and I had had this uh, dude on my brain like you know he's consumed a lot of my time in 08 he consumed a great deal of my time and I was saying at midnight I didn't want to be thinking about him um, I, I didn't want to be consumed by those thoughts at that time because I didn't want you know all of 09 to be about him um, and honestly at this point I can't remember what I was doing at midnight I I honestly think I fell asleep long before, um, long before it, midnight ever rolled around. Um, I did get a text maybe a minute or two before then, so I, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the point of the matter is this. When midnight came, I was asleep, and as far as I'm concerned, sleep is about as peaceful as it gets, especially for me these days. So I'm thinking, I'm hoping, I'm praying that 2009 is going to be a very um, peaceful year for me. Um, I'm hoping that I get a lot accomplished. I was in school, <clears throat> English education major, and I unofficially withdrew. Um, don't want to go back into all that foolishness, um, but I'm going back. Um, actually, in the fall, I'm going to go back and... Um, I, I honestly, to be honest with myself, I don't have the discipline to go back to school um, traditionally. So I'm just going to go, um, instead of going back to the university where I was, I'm just going to go to the um, community college here and just get my CDA and, and get a grasp, you know, of the field and see if it's really for me. And if it is, then I'll go back and finish up my degree. Um, and if not, you know, I didn't lose a whole lot. Anyways... <clears throat> Aside from all that, I got, well, I've been praying, kind of unofficially. I'm not as in touch with God as I once was, um, sadly, for many reasons, um, none of which justify it. But um, I've been kind of not down on my knees praying, but just speaking out loud to God and going back and forth with this issue on whether I should let something go, you know, and I, I guess, I think I've talked about it before, about, you know, this guy, whatever, whatever, and, um, I didn't want to let go, because I've always been a believer that, you know, things start out rough, but sometimes you have to cut your losses, and, and let go before you hurt yourself, you know, more, and then there's sometimes where you just have to stick it out, and then the end will be worth it, and I was confused, I didn't know if it was one of those things that I needed to endure to the end, or if it was one of those things I need to, you know, jump out the car before it crash and burns, you know, um, and I was having the toughest time with that, and I was praying and, and asking God to just to, to show me what it was I needed to do, and this week here, um, in a very rude <laughs> and awful, heartbreaking, heart-wrenching way, um, I found out the answer to that question. And at first, I was upset. I was really upset. I was really hurt. I was crying. Um, I was really hurt, like, honestly. And, and not so much because I'm not the one. I was hurt because I, um, it was my understanding that we had built a friendship more than anything else and some things you just don't do to friends you know anyways um so I was really upset and now I'm realizing that sometimes God is telling you to let go of something and you're so 
busy holding on to it that you're looking for every excuse. You're saying, you know, God, show me, God, show me, and he's showing you, and you won't listen, you know. And so I realized that God had been telling me to let go, and because I wouldn't, he took it away from me, you know. And I don't know if it's just meant for me to, to, to I don't know. <laughs> That was gross, excuse me. That was the juiciest laugh ever. Anyways, um, I don't know, but I feel I feel good right now at this very